your old buddy Microchip here playing Trains 2019 Platinum Edition. And this is the Tidewater Point episode 34. All right. It was going to happen sooner or later. I'm sick. I uh, got a little bit of a cold here, so, you know, you're going to have to deal with it. If you don't like the fact that I have a cold and I'm doing the video anyway, well, this just may not be the channel for you. There's the first cough of the day. There's going to be many more. All right, so where we left off uh, in episode 33 uh, is uh, here with Thomas. Uh, Thomas uh, was uh, cutting up this inbound. Here's the rest of it right here. He's not attached to it right now. Uh, there's the cut over there. And I've already figured out where all those are going to go, so I guess we should just get at it, right? Apply the handbrake, decouple. And let's get it on. Everything appears to be set correctly. Here we go. Alrighty. Nice quick clear. And we're going to couple up with this right here. We're going to actually do the whole rest of this cut in this one go. That'll be the end of Thomas. Well, no, actually, he's got he's to run some cars down to the lower yard, too. Which we'll do after we're done setting these out. Okay. A good solid connection here. Bingo, bango. And forward we go. All right, we're pulling them all now, right? Everything's moving. Everything's moving. Wonderful. All right. Oh, no, we're going to go this way. Uh, so uh, he's got these two goods cars on the back. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. uh, these two uh, Nor Norfolk Southern uh, goods cars on the back. And he's got these TOFCs. These are all headed over to River Point, which is going to be track one. So we're going to shove these all onto track one to begin with. There we go. There's like a constant flood of TOFCs going into uh, River Point. Deal with it. Which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm dealing with it. Alrighty. So about right there. Beautiful. We're not going on. Oh, that is track one. These are going on to track one. I said that, right? I got confused in my not well state. And then those reefers are all going to uh, the uh, dock here in Tidewater. They're going to the Dole. The Dole warehouse. They got fruit and stuff on them. That's kind of weird. Didn't slow down the way I thought I was going to. All right. We got it now, though. Shove these past the frog as usual. Then we'll go hook up with the rest of those uh, cars that are destined for the lower yard. Then we'll head to the lower yard and get that done. Yeah. 
There we go. Slow it down here. And then stop it right there. Beautiful. Apply the handbrake. Do the do jabby. And go on forward. He's going to cross again, isn't he? I'm thinking so. Got the long shot here for the clear. There's the clear. All right. Now we're going to shove these back this way. Onto these right here. These are all going to the lower yard. Really? Oh, yeah, these are all going to bird's eye vegetables. Okay. They're all loaded. Well, there you go. Bird's eye and dole. That's what we got going on. That's all going on to the dock, which will be, what, track six, right? Well, I'm asking you, how would you know? It's actually track five and track six, but I'm keeping track uh, five clear for runaround purposes. I kill the bell. I don't know. Kill the bell. How come I'm not in control of him anymore? Here's the bell. Oh, could I just click that nose? <laughs> All right. Let's try to stay focused now. Uh, twenty mile, twenty percent. He's doing five. Is that different? It seems like it's different. All of a sudden. Because normally at 35, we do 10. And then at 25, we do 5. What's going on? I don't know the answer to that. Let's click on the main, main power unit now. Yeah, look, he's doing 12. That's weird. So the gearing changed on it or something. What? Uh, was there an update or something I was unaware of? Yeah. Seven, 35% has always been 10 for as long as I can remember. Now all of a sudden it's 12. Okay. I mean, that, that makes a huge difference. I can I can adapt. I can adapt. I can overcome. But it's weird. Whoop. That it changed. We got everything now, right? Yeah, we... Yeah, it's 13, it's 14. 15? What? Thirty-five is now sixteen mile an hour. Oh, is it, oh. <laughs> I just figured it out. I just figured it out. It's cause it's in kilometers per hour. I hit some key to switch it over to kilometers. Okay. In my weakened state, I did not uh, discover that. <laughs> so we'll have to put it back to miles per hour. I do that every once in a while. How? how uh, yeah, it's one of these up here. I'll figure it out when I... Uh, when I put you guys on pause. Okay. Okay. Life is good. So this is 10 mile an hour. It's just 16 in kilometers. All right, so we're going to jump off right here. Uh, every last one of these is going to Tidewater Dock, which is track five. That's right. Track five. Well, actually, I think I'm putting them on track six. Not, I think track five is the one. In fact, I know track five is the one I want to keep clear. Going on track six. Track six. All right, 
we're one back too far, aren't we? Here we are. I stop right there. Here we go. Uh, we're going to juice it going back this way now. We're out on the main line. Uh, yeah, that's right. Here. Oh. No, track six. That's where we're going. Wait a minute now. Who are these on track five? This is River Point out. Didn't I notice this last time? I think I did. That these should not be on track five. The River Point out should be on uh, track seven. So I'm going to switch these around too. <laughs> oh, it's all falling apart. Ah, oh, but we miss, we miss this. He probably blew it when I wasn't listening. All right, here we go. So these are going on track six. Then I got to pull the ones off track five and put them on track seven. There we go. And that'll be. Then we'll be back in motion. We'll be back where we're supposed to be. Okay. Slow it down here. Back to 16 kilometers per hour. Heal the bell. There we go. This is track seven right here, right? I think. Okay. Over to this side, we'll shove them past this uh, dwarf signal. We got enough room now, right? I didn't check, but uh, yes, I'm going to say yes. We got enough room on this track. Here it comes. The trucks are cutting in and out. Okay, we're going to slow it down here now. For these wonderful Union Pacific reefers. It's real cold. There we go. We will apply. Don't forget who I am. There we are. I will pull forward. Pull back. So it should be set. Yeah. Is this one? Yeah. So we're going to hook up to these and put them on track seven where they belong. Why they ended up here, I don't know. motion we do and this is track seven here right with the uh, empty coals on it in the front no that's track eight well what's track eight? Oh, track eight's tidewater out so we're gonna go in this one here where there's nobody all right track seven that's where we're headed to 
Alrighty. Here he comes. Little bit of train action for you. Of course, this is what this video is all about, isn't it? Train action. Yet action with trains. That's train action. Okay, slow that down. Slip it on now. All righty. We're going to push these back to this frog right here. And then, unless I'm mistaken, which I have been in the past, that should end Th Thomas's turn. I need a lozenge or something, I think. And about right there. All right, so that is going to end Thomas's turn. I'm going to put you guys on pause, get myself a lozenge. And then figure out what we're doing next. I'll be right back. Here we are with Tyler and with a lozenge. <laughs> nice. The lozenge is working. Uh, hopefully I won't be coughing as much. But anywho, Tyler here is in River Point. Uh, he was sent here to pick up track six. This cut here. And I think it's a pretty long cut too, isn't it? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It goes way back here. Okay. So, wait, 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 wait. Uh, where are we at? There we are. Uh, Tyler's right here. All Tyler has to do, because all of these have to go to, uh, are going to be dispersed in Tidewater. All he has to do is drive this over to Tidewater. That's it. Uh, so, it's going to be real quick, I'm thinking. We'll go here, and we'll say, uh, do that. We're moving, folks. Look out. And we're going to Tide. Uh, navigate to no 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 yeah, there's only one track that has uh, that carries cars from Tidewater on, and that's this track here. So this will help us out a lot by getting these cars out of the way and allowing. I think some of these uh, ones that are on the inbound had to be placed on track six. I couldn't put them there. Uh, oh, he's got a red light. He's got a red signal. He's gonna be able to figure it out. Why do you want to go to that side? Don't go to that side. No, 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 he's right. He's going this way, he's going this way. Yeah, yeah. How about that? How about I do that for you? Is that better? Oh, he's got a green now. Oh, wait a minute. Why is this one green? Probably because we got two greens? Probably because of what's his name here, right? Jeff? Probably because of Jeff right there. Now he's all set. With his SD40 and his GP38, uh, both of them dash twos. And he's uh, in the old paint style. Look at that. For the CSX. All right, so that is the end of Tyler's turn. That's all he had to do. So I'll put you guys back on hold. Figure out something else. Oh, and I figured out the mile per hour thing too. Don't know why it switched over, but it did. All right, right back at you. So we're here with uh, Andrew, and uh, Andrew is at Tidewater Mills, and we got an order from Tidewater Mills to pick up twelve uh, green cars. They're all in here right now. 
Let's get, let's get, let's get, oh, let's get on it. You see them all right here. There's 12 of them. They all got filled uh, in one shot, so they're ready to go. Now, he has no nothing else to pick up. That's the only order we got. Uh, so he's got to run these back to Tidewater. Now, the problem is uh, he's got an SD-40 and an SD-60 right here. If he hooks them all up and then yanks them all out this way, he's got to go backwards, all those cars, you know, forward in front of him to get back to Tidewater Mills. Uh, I mean, I mean uh, Tidewater Yard. And we don't want that. Uh, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to try to get on the other side. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do that. What we're going to do is this. I think I got it now. I think I got it in my brain. We're going to apply the handbrake. We're going to decouple. Then we're going to move forward here. There we go. And then we're going to stop it right there. Then what we're going to do is we are going to take Andrew and we're going to say, uh, can't do it that way. Say, uh, move to train. I want you to go. Huh? Move to train. Can't do it that way. Uh, Andrew, where are you at? Move to destination. Yes, there you go. Into the SD60. Yeah, SD60. He's in it now. Okay. So now, now the question is, is backing up, backing up now? Okay, now he's in the SD60. Okay, so I got that flipped correctly. Let's back up. Alrighty. So we're going to hook onto these here. Pull, yank them out, and then connect them up to these. Then we're going to use this empty track to get over on the other side. And that's when we'll start stacking them up. So by the end of it, we'll be on the correct side of the train and be able to drive to uh, Tidewater. Let me make sure this switch way over here. Yeah, okay. Oh, might as well make sure this one is too. Yeah, okay. And we'll fly back this way. Oop. Wrong, wrong track. There we go. Okay. I will show you what I'm doing here if you did not figure it out on that quick explanation. Yep. Alrighty. These grain cars are all full of corn. Well, this is uh, corn country. I'm going to pull forward here. There we go. Down here to this one right here. Oh, nope. Ooh, that SD60's got a nice sounding horn on it. Alrighty. Hook this up right here. There we go. Pull this one back out. And what's the weight on this? Just because I'm curious. It's uh, 238. That's nothing. These engines are rated for something more than that. Uh, which makes sense. Uh, 6,800. Yeah, they're rated for 6,800. Attractive effort. Horsepower, I should say. All right. Pull these out this way now. Like so. Go. Stop that. It's a long it's a long clear. Here we go. Tyler should be going by here shortly, I would think, right? 
Out on the main out there, way out there. I sent him from River Point. He couldn't have snuck by already, could he? Maybe I don't see him out there, though. All right, now we're going to hook up to this one. Got it. Hold it right there. Now this track is open. This was the main aim here. Back it off. Beautiful. There this one again. Head on down there. And we still have 32 other empties that are just waiting here on the storage tracks until uh, until they're needed. This is a rather large facility, which is why we have these empties waiting here. Ready? Right, now he's going to come through here. He's going to go all the way through here. We might as well, well, that's not right. Uh, we might as well back these out first, right? Some of these tracks look awfully tight. Well, maybe not. This track looks bent. Just straightened it out. Yeah, it's all right. It's all good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Forward here. There we go. Now we're going to start pushing these all forward, get them in the line, ready to be towed back to Tidewater. We'll get down here so we don't smash our faces into the uh, top of the vent there, top of the that vent, the ceiling. <laughs> oh, now we did it anyway, didn't we? Okay. This way. up here push them out so they're out of this small little green yard here we can start assembling our train there we go We have to push them past this point here because this is the last point for this yard over over here. So I'll push them past this point here. Then we'll start going back and getting the rest of them. Well, there's only actually two more cuts left, these two over here. Oh, is that set wrong? Yeah, that is. They're popping over. Look at that pop. Watch this end right here. It'll pop. Pop. We're not derailing. And then it says excessive curve speed. <laughs> yeah, just a little. Alright, so we're going to have to get that. Normally, I would not get the engines all the way across. But we're going to have to now because I didn't set that switch right. Oh, no, I 
I, I set it off too early. But he can do it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to drop these here. Apply. Get rid of it. There we go. Yeah, well, actually, we might as well go through this one. It's closer now, right? Not that it makes a difference. Not that much closer. Okay, so this one is set correctly now. This one's set correctly. This one is now set correctly. And then that one is correct. All right, then we'll get this, this one here next. We'll worry about that after we hook up. Try to get those switches on this side correct. Oh, boy. There you go. Oh, look out. We're hitting. Oh, we're too low. There we go. All right, so let's uh, hop out of here. And we're going to clear this switch right here. A little service road action. Backing up now. There's not that much room back here, is there? I thought there was more room than that. Uh, <coughs> but there's not. Whew, that one got me. All right, well, let's hook up here first. Let's make sure this does it at the right speed. Then I'll go on the other side and set the switches correctly. I'm noticing these barrels are right on the track. <laughs> Whoops. How'd that happen? Well, I, I uh, like, majorly reformed this uh, part here from what the original was. So I probably was not paying attention. Okay, that should go this way. And that should go this way. Now, that's all correct now, right? Yeah, we're coming off of this track, onto this track, onto this track. That's right. All I got to do is hook them up. There should be plenty of room to go back and push those last few on. The last three cars that are still in the uh, still in the facility. Oh, glad, oh, There we go. Apply. And decouple. And now go forward. Here we go. this switch as we go over it there we go press up should be set correctly Let's check down on this end now yeah that's right and that's right except we got some barrelage we got some barrels I'll have to fix those barrels. We'll just run over them right now. The tray can easily run over those barrels, right? Crush them flat, no problem. 
probably won't derail or anything, will it? Actually, there's probably a pretty good chance that it might. backwards there we go okay I will back it up okay let's uh you know what we're gonna do we're gonna stop it right here you want to know why just before we hit the barrels just like this oh, 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 oh wait a minute because this is gonna be our screenshot it's <laughs> be our thumbnail right there perfect nice okay now forward And there we go. It's going to phase right through them like they're not even there. All righty. Now we'll push these right through. And I'll check it once again. I know I've threw it already, but just, you know, let's be safe. There we go. So in total, the weight for all 12 of these cars is uh, 1,044 tons. And as I said, we're at 6,800 is our rated capacity. So we don't have any problem pulling this out of here. There we go. All right. I always got to push them back this way. Past here, right? Yep. And then once we get them out here, we can just give them the order to go. Now, did, uh, what's his name go by yet? It's been a long time now. I don't see him that way. Is he coming this way? I don't see him that way either. Is there a, is there a light halting him down at the end of this one? Don't see it. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, so we're just going to back him out now. All of these are going to have to be reclassified. In fact, I can even do that right now, can I? Go here, go here. Then say tag. Then say done. They're all going to be reclassified. Very good. Mute myself there while I did some coughing, some sniffling, popped another lozenge. Here we go. Now, I don't know what this is here. Uh, it's obviously a uh, grade place, but. Forget is that Johnson's? I don't know. Somebody. Okay. Here we go. Plenty of room. On our backup track here. To be clear, we did. Okay, so now we want to give him orders to just go to the Tidewater. Track mark Tidewater. What you got? Seems to like it. All right, he's headed on out. Okay, so that is the end of Andrew's turn. And now I'll put you guys on pause until I figure out what we're doing next. 
It's Sean. Sean is working the River Point Refinery. Uh, now, if you own this map, uh, Tidewater, you may be like, River Point Refinery? Yeah, I built all this. I mentioned this many times before. Uh, the refinery, there's the Walmart warehouse, some kind of lumber yard I built. This, uh, I don't know what this is, some kind of cold storage place. You know, I built all this stuff on here. Uh, so uh, don't be looking for it on your map because it's not on there. All right. So he just got done unloading the last two of these eight um, oil tankers. And now what he's going to do is he's going to drop them off over here onto this track because it's Duke's job to take them back. Now, he could take them back to River Point himself. But see, like I just said, it's Duke's job. Then there's gonna be, then Duke's going to file a grievance against Sean for doing his job. You know, it's a union thing. And then all the paperwork I got to do. You know, I'm not going through all that. We're just going to have Sean drop these off and then we're going to send him off back to Tidewater uh, to get uh, some maintenance done on himself. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Was this an SD-70 Ace? Is that what this is? Let's take a look. It's an SD-80 Mac. That's close. That was only 10 off. Okay. Now that's not set right. It's odd why that wouldn't be set right, but not right 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 okay all right so we're gonna have him come down and clear this switch right here then we're gonna have him stick on this fire track i think yeah this fire track right over here and they'll just be sitting there waiting for duke to come duke's down in the tidewater uh engine shop right now Getting some maintenance done on himself. We'll send that message over to him. You got work to do. Get to it. All right. forward now here he comes let's grab out of that one trucks seem unusually loud <laughs> and I didn't put any frogs out here did I no, I did not. That's eh, okay. We'll just eyeball it. There we go. These are all empty diesels waiting to be, uh, they're on storage tracks here waiting to be called up. to about what right here ought to do it very good apply there we go and let's back on out of here there he goes now he's gonna come back this way that's right through the trees here over this way have him go over the crossover here. Here to this side. Right, then he should be clear to head on to Tidewater. Give a little bit of juice here.
Now, it's weird that it's 20 miles an hour here. I don't remember setting any speed limit signs out here. Of course, this, this track was here before I started. Just went off to nothingness. So that's why I added that all stuff on there. That's the track we want to be on down there. And how it looked, Andrew was already at Tidewater. And then we sent Sean in behind him. So we're going to have two trains coming into Tidewater now. We'll have to shuffle those up around and get them going where they need to be. But that's going to be episode uh, 35, right? Is this 34 now? Yeah. That'll all happen in episode 35. Well, I think it'll happen in episode 35. It'll be All right, he's got a yellow signal here. That, of course, is the River Point yard up ahead there. We'll slow down for the crossover. Go nice. Back this way now. Cleared it. Okay. Well, I can't tell which switch. Those two switches are so close to one another. I can't tell which one is which. And this one is yeah that way, and then this one is going to go this way, and then we'll go this way. Okay. So now we're going to have Sean head on back. You're going to Tidewater, buddy. There you go. And there he goes. And here we go because we are now over time. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Why don't you subscribe? Why don't you like? Why don't you leave me a comment? Uh, and if you don't like the fact that uh, I was sick during this entire episode, well, this just may not be the channel for you.